friends, and welcome to the Rocky Mountain Crafter. As you know, I am a huge fan of We Are Memory Keepers, and I've picked up this tool, and I'm going to be using it for the first time today. It is called the All-in-One Magnetic Platform. So besides being magnet on this side, and it comes with this magnetic ruler, which is very cool, holding down paper and projects, it also comes with two extra magnets. And this is a like a very shiny smooth surface so you could put inks on there and wipe them off and then besides that coolness on the other side it's a cutting board so you you can use your exacto knife knife or a <clears throat> fabric cutting rotary cutter on here no problem at all and it too is also magnetic so I'm going to give this a try today and see what happens I start with a piece of Tim Holtz cardstock that is watercolor and I am putting this piece of cardstock into my precision platform also by We Are Memory Keepers and the stamp set that I'm using here is called Corner Swag Floral Stamps and it has a matching die set as well. So I'm going to be using that beautiful vine-like floral for the corner and I will be doing two of those. So I'm just getting that out of the packaging here and using my precision platform to line it up in the corner of the cardstock. Now it doesn't matter where on this piece of page it's lined up because I am going to die cut it after. I just want to make sure that I have room for two of them. So here I am getting some Versamark and inking that stamp up with Versamark because I'm going to be using some heat embossing today. So I'm using Clear Sparkle Heat Embossing Powder by WOW. Oh, I just love their powders. Look at the sparkle in that. So it's very, it is very sparkly in real life. It's just beautiful. And so I'm using my heat tool here to heat up that embossing powder. And I repeat this so in the end, I have two of these. Look at that sparkle. It's just so beautiful. Now here's where my new tool will come in handy because I have those magnets to hold it down. So when I'm watercoloring here, I don't have to worry about taping anything down or things moving around on me. So I'm just taking some colors from Catherine Pooler's ink selection and doing some watercoloring. And the nice thing about this platform on this side here, you can just lay the ink right down on this platform. It's so awesome, I love it. And so I'm just uh, doing some watercoloring with a refillable water brush pen and taking a selection of inks that I thought worked well together and looked nice. I didn't really have a rhyme or reason to my coloring other than to kind of lay down a base layer and then do an, a detailed layer on top in a different color just so that you have that blend but also so that it gives it some depth. So that is the only technique that I tried to follow for my coloring. And yeah, this platform worked great for this. But now it's time to clean up and is that going to be easy or difficult? I took a baby wipe and it just literally wiped away so easily. I really, really like this new tool. I will be using this a lot in the future. So now it's time to die cut these corner swag florals that I've watercolored. So I'm just putting them onto my magic mat and using the best ever craft tape. That's that yellow tape. And I put that through my big shot switch and have this lovely corner swag floral. It's just gorgeous. And I repeat that times two. So here I'm just removing the second one. And these have such a beautiful sparkle to them. It doesn't show up here on camera very well, but I assure you, it's just gorgeous. So here I'm taking some of the little accent flowers that came in that stamp set. And I am, again, using Versamark ink to ink those up and just repeating the process of the embossing powder and heating it up. And then I go and I watercolor those again using a selection of inks that match and my watercolor brush. And then I go and I die cut those all out. And I was able to fit them all into this scrap piece of paper. Look at that. And using the magnets to hold it down like that, this 
oh, this tool. I just love this tool. It's so awesome. So here I'm just removing all those little accent pieces and I'm going to, on the card, pop them up. So this card will have dimension in the end. And so here I'm just grabbing some foam tape and making little squares to be able to pop up those little flowers. And I also put some foam tape onto the back of that larger piece, the swag corner swag floral pieces. So here is a color play card base. It's by company Color Play. They're already pre-made. I love them so much. I use them all the time. And I'm putting it into my precision press. This is a stamping platform because I'm going to be doing a sentiment. And the sentiment that I've chosen is I appreciate you, which is so ideal for so many people. Mothers, friends, aunts, sisters, uh, teachers, just so many people can fall under this umbrella of this sentiment. And there I've got the color that I like for that sentiment. I, I, I went with a darker color of the card. I didn't like the lighter color, so I ended up going a little darker just to draw some contrast to the sentiment. And here I'm just laying down that corner swag floral pieces. Beautiful florals. Oh, they're just gorgeous. And you can see that sparkle, but I assure you it is a thousand times nicer in real life. And here I'm just putting the accent flowers on and I have dimension on them so they are popped up. This card has lots of dimension in the end. And I've grabbed this butterfly from a coordinating stamp set by Catherine Pooler called Thank You Kindly. And it goes together with the corner swag floral stamps and dies. So here I've stamped a solid color on the butterfly and then an accent color just on the top and I've used my blending brush to blend it in so that you don't get a harsh line. And I did that several times over and I made several butterflies. And I'm gluing several butterflies together so the bottom ones don't have to have a stamped image on them, they're just plain white. And so this gives this butterfly much dimension and it is very popped up. And then for the final layer of the butterfly, I only glue down the very center of him so I'm able to actually fold his wings up so he looks like he's flying. It is just the coolest looking card in the end because of all of this dimension. And here I'm just taking some liquid glue and gluing him down, her, him, whatever it might be, into a spot where I think it looks good. And that is the card, you guys. I wish the sparkle showed up so much better, but it's okay here. It's not terrible. But there's the finished card. This card is just so beautiful with a beautiful sentiment. The two-tone colored flowers, the sparkle, the popped up nature of this card. I just love everything about it. And the platform, the magnetic platform made it so easy. You guys, I am the Rocky Mountain Crafter. I thank you so much for watching me today. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on my blog at therockymountaincrafter.com. Take care. <music>